Uh, human assisted takeoff. Uh, uh, unique here at Avalon. Ah, uh, yeah, this is uh, it's standard operations for gliders because exactly as you said, they don't have the uh, the extra landing gear that a normal aircraft would have to uh, fully steady it. So you have a human on the wing. All right, and the trick with these takeoffs, if you're the person helping to bomb steady the aircraft, is remembering to let go. Correct. And generally, what you do is you hold your hand under the wing and you're supporting the weight of the wing. And as the uh, glider starts rolling off down, normally behind a tow plane or on a cable from a, a winch, you run along with it and then that wing will just accelerate past you. If you watch now, you'll see the gentleman out there. There he is, running along it. And we're away. And once, once they're away, there's enough airflow that the ailerons work and they don't need the wing walker anymore. But yes, very unique for Avalon. of sail plane flying Grant, no longer. Bob Carlton, who was a retired rocket scientist, has mounted a jet engine to his Super Salto sailplane and that allows him not only to launch his aircraft with human assistance, as we've seen, but also do amazing high-speed, low-level aerobatics. Remember, uh, Bob knows what he's doing. It is really a remarkable combination, the uh, sailplane and the jet engine, and you're about to see it in full effect. So, uh, Grant, he climbs to 2,000 feet, reduces the jet engine to idle, and then what sort of things are we likely to see? Oh, mate, we're going to see some very graceful uh, aerobatics, all to the, the sound of the music that he's going to play, and it's going to be basically the, the high silent show, as you said, engine to idle, graceful glider aerobatics, just uh, you hear the swooshing sound of air over the wings, and that's about it. Also, the remarkable side of the wing flex, it is a long wing, wing that... Uh, the trades, uh, well, it's not exactly the strongest thing you'll ever see, but uh, you, you have to sacrifice weight for strength. And uh, that is one of the remarkable things about these particular aircraft. And it's not the sort of thing you normally see thrown around the sky. Anyway, Bob Carlton, here he is.
reposition his Super Salto for a demonstration of low-level aerobatics. Listen to the jet engine to spool up as he approaches show centre at over 170 miles an hour. The Super Salto is the only sailplane in the world capable of such high speed and low-level aerobatic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Bob Carlton, out of blues, and the Super Salto jet-powered sailplane, Grand Super Super. Tony right now Bob's doing uh, what's, what he calls the infinity pass, which is a horizontal eight. So he's chasing out a figure eight above the ground. So uh, he's going from like 60 miles an hour, he'll have the spoilers out, and then he's up to 175 miles an hour, pulling five Gs. Watch the wings as he pulls up and over into a loop. So he'll do a half loop. Lovely graceful half loop, and now he's going up into the twister room, he calls this. It's his uh, twisted tail slide, he wants to see any other jet do this. Now he's talking about going to do the hammerhead return. And he's a rocket scientist, and he tells me that rocket scientists love symmetry. Next we should be seeing a uh, full Cuban 8, which is, we saw the uh, figure 8 infinity pass where it was horizontal above the ground. Now he's going to do a full figure 8 vertically in the sky. Go, the full figure eight being done. This next maneuver is going to be a four point roll. Now, four point roll is where you actually do point, point, point as you go around. Very hard to do with such long wings. And best not done at low level. <laughs> Don't really want to drag a wingtip, no. So, we should be seeing the four point roll soon. Yeah, they're waiting for this rumors and possibilities. Uh, Bob and Laurie are telling me that uh, they'll believe it when it happens, but if it does, uh, it'll be on the news. This is a predator pass. He calls it this because see how his uh, two twin tails, the V-tail, are now inverted, just like on a predator drone. That's dedicated to the men and women who fly the United States UAVs and engage the enemy while keeping their troops out of harm's way. Beautiful and graceful flying there, mate. True aerial ball ballet. Thank you to Bob Carlton and his wife Laurie for uh, making the journey to Avalon to thrill us with that really remarkable display of the image ship. You don't often see a glider uh, perform those sorts of manoeuvres, but uh, that's what happens when you put an engine on the back. <laughs> it certainly does help. Karen, pilot and podcaster, thanks for your time. Hey, thanks, Tony. Really appreciate it being able to come out here for this one. Just give Bob a wave as he comes past after a magnificent display of his Super Salto jet <laughs> sailplane. Uh, we'll have to uh, make way for another jet star movement, but there's still plenty ahead. We have the AGCAT, uh, Vietnam era aircraft, and the Super Hornet, plus some thrilling coordinated aerobatics. Terrific, Tony and Grant, and uh, Bob Carlton in the Salto, 
When I, I watch that, I think, I go back a number of years when he first came here, he keeps innovating the display, and I think that's why he comes back. And the fitting of the jet engine to the glider, which I think was now about uh, maybe eight or nine years ago, he just rapidly developed all these new routines. Beautiful, well done, eh?